but it it definitely is similar to that and it it's so it's so it's like back to my point it's just so beneficial because when you're allowed to just turn everything off think everything through let it flow out then you can get over these thoughts and it's like you can conquer them almost and once you're able to accept that you feel this way you've already gained another sense of strength you've already gained another um you, you've already passed a level you've already broken through a barrier um accepting that you have flaws accepting the very fears um and bad qualities about yourself and it, and it doesn't even have to be a bad quality like oh i eat too much junk food i do this or you could be thinking like oh, i don't like I want to give an example that's not so like horrific and horrendous, but I think you guys know what I mean. It's that deep, dark stuff that we don't like to say or that we would never tell anybody that we're thinking in our heads. And, you know, unfortunately, that leads to a lot of really terrible things that happen in today's society um, when people feel like they're not heard. Um, you know, it's just an expression. It's a reaction. And it's like when when somebody feels when somebody is so angry and so and just wants to express that sometimes that expression can lead to them shooting someone and killing them and you know that's a very extreme example but that's an example of somebody who wasn't they weren't heard they weren't um they felt like that was the only way where someone could understand the pain they felt in in a weird psychological way you know um and so when people do these terrible things, like I know for me, when I was younger and was, well, I was in middle school and high school and I was going through the toughest times of my life, um, that's when I acted out the most. I had the most, like when I was feeling the worst about myself, I would steal, I would um, skip class, I would like, like talk back to my teachers, I talk back to my parents, I break stuff, I do all this just because I was like, I was like, ah, can I just like show them how angry I am? Can I just show them? And then if I show them like, and I wasn't like thinking this, but this is what it really was. And I was like, ah, like, I just want somebody to hear me. I want somebody to sit, sit down with me and be like, hey man, I see what you're going through. Tell me how hard it is, you know? And unfortunately, in today's world, we don't get that. We don't get that from even our friends, even our family, even our closest people. Now, th those who are fortunate to get that, don't take that for granted and keep those people close to you in your life. Um, but the other, the problem is, is that unfortunately, not a lot of us have that. Um, and for me, like, even when I was like going through the hardest time, I just got a mental diagnosis and I would tell my friends and it was just like, I just became like, like a joke. It was like, oh, that's funny. Like, ha ha ha. Now you have this. Now you're, now you're this person. And it's like, I just wanted to like, like there, there's a certain type of person that gets in fights all the time. You know, if you get in a fight, it's like, you really want to show someone how angry you are. You really want to like prove them. Um, but yeah and true but i'm just good at hiding my feelings i mean look you can you can be good at hiding your feelings but it's not necessarily like that's a healthy thing and i don't mean to call you out like specifically but hiding your feelings is not is not a healthy thing because if you hide them then they build up they stack up on top of each other and but before you know it, you have all these feelings. You're like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to keep like, keep building up. Like, and all these things just pile up and you forget about this one. You forget about this one and this one, because you have this one and this one that you just added. And then it just comes out in this big outburst. And like your parents or your friends are like, what is wrong with you? You need to see a doctor. Are you going to therapy? It's like, nah, dude, you did like, no one's listening to me. I'm not, no one feel, no one hears me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I just, like, I have a really, really big problem with, um, schools and, uh, doctors for diagnosing kids with depression and all of these and giving them pills and stuff and, and all this, because what, what you're, what you're not doing is helping. You're not helping the problem. You're, 
you're masking the problem. It's the same thing as someone who drinks or smokes to, you know, temporarily subdue the pain. And it's like, oh, I got to just take this pill every day. Well, guess what? We're not born on this earth in need of pills. We're we're given human bodies um, because we're meant to be able to withstand um, the the things that go on. And unfortunately, as a human race, we're suffering right now um, by being not being compassionate with each other and not being accepting and loving of one another because it's cool not to be loving and it's cool just to do your own thing and um, do all that and and not you know help out people. You know we like to really stay on the internet and we like to glorify hate. We like to glorify and really talk about everything that's going wrong so we can blame our problems on the world. But in truth, you know the problems happen from us who are talking about it. Um, and it's it's tough because uh, it's it's so tough because like you know as a as a person who went through that as a person who um as a person who was on pills as a person who was given every type of medication like mental medication possible um none of it helped and the reason none of it helped was because no one was actually trying to solve my problem they were just trying to um mask it cover it up act like it wasn't there um, you know, and like so many things like, like, I think the concept of like ADHD is also really, really ridiculous. And, um, it's, it just like, you know, we just, you know, we just, we need certain people with these, with these personalities. And it feels like everyone's now becoming a category. It's like, oh, you are this mental illness. You're this mental illness. You are this mental illness. And it's like, at what point are we going to realize that we are all different people and we all just need to be listened to and appreciated for the brains that we were given um, in the first place? So um, to anyone who is going through that, to anyone who is on pills, on all these things, and it's not working, just know that it's not the pills that are going to fix your life. It's it's really not. Um, and it's like... I I just I just empathize with that so much because obviously I went through it um and none of it worked and now I'm off everything completely I guess you could call it sober and um like life's sick life's great because I'm able to express myself and another way I'm able to do that that I found is going on these live streams. Now, here's the thing is like I would do these live streams if I had two people or if I had 2,000 or 200,000 people. And the reason I would do that is because it's an expression. Um, so this is another way that I can express myself and feel like I'm being heard. Now, the good thing is like I do have a lot of people who are tuned into me and like really love what I say. So, um, yeah, but I mean, I guess the moral of the story y'all is don't distract yourself. Um, find the root of your problem. Listen, listen to yourself. Uh, find people who want to listen to you, not people who want to mask your thing because a lot of times it just makes them feel uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, <laughs> bro, I just went off, bro. I just went off. Um, I'm really worried. Like, I'm really worried. Like when I start, you know, like when I have like my albums and my, like everything going on, like I'm worried. <laughs> I'm just going to be in these interviews, just like spazzing, dude. Like, like when someone, like when I start doing interviews, like y'all y'all aren't gonna know what to do with me bro like like they're gonna i think they're gonna be great i think it's i'm gonna say some awesome stuff but you know i also accept the fact that you know i'll probably say something wrong i'll probably say something wrong at one point i'm human of, of course it's bound to happen but as long as i just keep speaking my mind then you know there's gonna be like i don't know like like i just if if the journey is is to be fully conscious in like self-expressive then I, I need to I need to just do that and you know I'll deal with the repercussions as they come but you know I because it, it's scary like if I like my goal is to be able to just like say everything and like be able to go crazy or whatever and but like I don't know people might call me crazy one day people might say you're this way or this this or whatever but I just I'm I'm passionate and, and I and I love my purpose I love what I'm here for I love the reason I love the gifts God has given me and I plan on using them. And so, and I plan on using them to my fullest. I'm not here to like 
half use my goals. Like I'm only going to use it as so much where these people don't feel like they're, I don't know, I'm going off, but you know, at some point I got to make a statement. I feel like I'm on, I'm on this, I'm on this planet for a reason and I'm given this voice and I'm given these talents and, and the ear that the ears that I have, the, I'm given my eyes and, and everything like, uh, these are metaphors for like, like what I, what I've been through, what I've seen, what I've heard, all the things that I've been through are, are tools, um, in order to get me to use that, like use, use my negatives against, against like those negatives that happen in the world. Like it's like, um, and that, that's the other thing. It's like in order for you to move forward and this is for everybody, a lot of people, a lot of people are just so caught up in their past. They're so like, oh my gosh, this happened to me. This happened to me. I'm this way. This terrible thing. Like, it could, it could be the worst, most terrible thing in the world. But at the end of the day, like, you're not the only person who's gone through it. You're not. You really aren't. And when you can accept that and you can use that to empower you instead and be like, oh, I went through this terrible thing. But guess what? So so did millions, thousands of other people, young people too. If you're in your, I don't know, if you're, if you're an adult, if you're a kid, if, if you have had a tough past, a tough upbringing, you are meant to use it in order to inspire the other people who are through, um, the, who are going through the same thing. Um, because like I said, like you're not, you're not, I've said this before, you're not special in your, in your upbringing, in your troubles you're not there's somebody else that's gone through it and it may not be like to the t the most specific thing but even if it is even if you are the only person in the world who has gone through this one thing um by you sh by you overcoming that that's an inspiration to so many people um and yeah i just like i i see all you guys like I feel obligated to talk about these things because I see um, how much, you know, my words affect you guys. And I see, you know, from the cameos, from the DMs I get, from the tattoos that you guys get of my lyrics, like, I feel a responsibility to y'all. I feel like I'm supposed to share the information that I have learned and share the things that I have gone through with you guys because it is is so important for me like like I could easily be like oh my goodness all these terrible things happened in my life and I'm just going to sit here and wallow in my own self pity and pretend like I'm the only one in the world who has ever gone through a hard time and you know on top of that I want to make a segue to another thing I've been thinking about and I'm sick I'm sick of seeing people being like like it look it's it's a nice idea it's a nice idea to be like Oh, I want to be happy. Like I'm chasing happiness. Like but the reason I make that face is because that's such an unattainable goal. You are never going to be happy forever. And I just don't think happiness is the word because you know it's the it's the same phrase of like what's joy without pain? What's what's sun without rain, you know? I didn't mean to be a rapper right there, but um we need to go through hardships with this journey that I'm going on with this huge life shift. I am the happiest I've ever been, but that does not mean that I'm not going through anything. That does not mean that I still don't have days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. It doesn't mean that all that goes away. You are not, you, we are not here to search for something that is just a clean one way elevator to the top that doesn't exist. You have to take the steps and you have to fall a couple times. You're gonna get tired, there's all this stuff. And for people to always just say, I just wanna be happy, I just wanna be happy. It's like, yes, that's amazing, you should want that. But also, you have to understand that you are, you have been given everything you need um, in order to achieve that. And it's about overcoming your, your both your past and your present. Um, and no, none of the, don't have to worry about the future because it hasn't happened yet and you can't get there unless you get through um the moment and but a lot of times our past can really really mess up our moments our our present moments because we'll be like so caught up in this idea that we we are um 
that we are entitled to feeling sorry for ourselves, that we um, defeat ourselves in the moment and we don't take that interview. We don't do these things. We like to beat ourselves up a lot. We like to be like, oh man, I don't deserve this. I'm not worthy of this, of going out tonight. I should just sit here and do nothing. And like, I'm not going to do this. Like, I'm so sad that I'm not going to do all that. It's like, dude, what it, What are you doing? What are you doing? You got to stop. You got to snap out of it. Like, the, the world's not meant for that. We're not supposed to do that. Um, I, I just I just hate seeing, I just hate seeing so many. And the reason I'm just like, so may, maybe this isn't the like biggest issue in the world, but it is an, is an issue with the people that, um, with you guys, with you guys that are reaching out to me and asking me for advice and and all this stuff like it's an issue and it affects me a lot because I'm like I'm like oh my goodness it feels like the whole world when you guys are DMing me and and all this and I'm not saying to stop DMing me I I need I need you guys to tell me these things and I need you guys to keep opening up to me um because it it's what it's what gets us all it's what gets us all through it um we're all we're all on this planet right now we're all one